great adventure is different for everybody. For me, it's about doing what you love, and what I love to do is go hunting. As a hunter, I live to travel the world and see new places. I want to go where I've never been, see the other side of the horizon, and learn as much from nature as it's willing to show me. to see the backcountry of Canada. I spend my life dreaming of being in places this remote, this wild, this untamed. And all of a sudden, I'm there. It's almost surreal the first hours after the plane leaves you. The beauty of the mountains. The freshness of the air. The sharp smell of the pine trees and the sounds of nothing else but nature in its wildest form. It's a place of great peace and a place of great hardship where victory and defeat is defined by your skills, your actions, and your dedication. So this is the first morning of the hunt. Got all our gear ready. Had a hard time sleeping last night. Too excited. And uh, all set up. So uh, let's go into the woods. See what you can find.
Hunting like this, for many days on end, the pursuit becomes a mind game. Your mind grows tired, your thoughts drift. You become part of your surroundings. But you have to keep your focus, to strain your eyes and your mind to keep sharp and look for that one crucial detail that determines how the rest of your story is gonna unfold. We've changed location and changed tactics. We're gonna spend most of the day in an observation tower overlooking a huge meadow to try to call the bulls in and if we see him then we get out of the tower and start stalking them. <gasps> so it's exciting. October 3rd near the end of our hunt very near actually we have tried every trick in the book we've been sitting watching over the meadows a couple of days. Now we've been slugging through the forest and the snow, the rain, everything. And we can't find that moose. <laughs> not for lack of trying. That's how it is. It's not over yet. We still have two days left. Strangely enough, I'm actually very positive that we will see one. We're just having a blast, actually. Even with the rain and the water and everything. Still good. It's hard to explain, but the tough conditions, the hardships, the challenges, that's what keeps you going. It makes you more determined. Being able to adapt ourselves and our tools to the constant challenges, that's the way we evolved. This ability to believe in the impossible and to strive for it, to fight for it, that's what drives us, even when we know that it might be impossible. You have to come to terms with the fact that even though you fight with every fiber of your body, the hard truth is that you don't always succeed. Or maybe you do. Because hunting is not about the end. It's about the moment you experience while you search for other things. The small things in the big picture, the details in the great story. Because in reality, it's not the goal, but the journey that shapes us that defines us as hunters and human beings and ultimately becomes a part of our lives great adventure. We're running out of light on the last evening of our hunt. It's been a great adventure and I'm just very, very grateful for all this. I never did find that moose. But what I found in the Canadian backcountry was a reassurance of the fact that life's great adventure is still out there. You just have to make it happen. You have to be there. You have to see it for yourself. Yeah.